What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about the insecurities of short lifters. But before I do so, I want to hear your feedback down below. What are some of the insecurities that you have observed in manless like myself? Let's hear it and with that said, let's break this down. So first and foremost, a lot of short guys, if not the majority of them, have this major issue of not accepting what their actual height is. I see it all the time. A guy who's 5'4", 5'5", 5'6", claiming to be 5'9", claiming to be average height. Now, I really don't understand why you would do this. Like, it just shows to me that you don't love what you really are, which is a short man. Like, you need to accept your fucking height. You need to accept the following things, right? You're not going to get any taller, and there's nothing you can do about it. I hear so many short dudes. They're like, man, I wish I was six feet. I wish I was taller. I wish I had an extra inch. I wish this. I wish that. And it's like, dude, newsflash. Welcome to reality. The same Baki the Grappler, where you could have special bone lengthening surgery. The same a fucking Skyrim creation uh, character menu, where you could adjust height to your will. No, it's real life, where you had genetics that were passed down to you from your parents. And now this is your height. So welcome to Manlet Land, motherfucker. You ain't getting any taller, and you need to accept that shit. You gotta stop saying, man, I wish I was taller. Or you gotta stop wearing these special clothes, because it has vertical lines, and that's gonna make you uh, taller. Or wearing fucking like six inch heels like a woman. It's like, dude, chill the fuck out. You're short, accept it. Once you accept what you really are, you're going to be way happier. It's comparable to a guy who has a lust for men, but he tries convincing himself that he doesn't like men. It's like, dude, admit that this is what you like and you'll be much happier. You'll, you'll be able to move on with your life. So that's step one to obliterating all insecurities associated with height. Kill that bullshit that's in your mind of, oh, I'm not short. I'm average height. No, it starts with accepting your true height. Secondly, I'm going to hear a lot of short guys complaining about their leverages. Fucking, they're going to say this. Well, when I deadlift, Alex, my body goes in this position right here. And, you know, I can't pull really heavy when I'm bent all the way forward, man. Whereas a tall guy, he can be all the way upright. It's like, yes, you, you may be correct that for the majority of short lifters that I've observed, their body tends to be like this, like a fucking penlay roll when they pull. But guess what? You're also forgetting that they have less range of motion. They have less range of motion than the taller guys. So it kind of balances up out in terms of the leverages, right? I mean, not, not totally, but it's still something. And in terms of the hand size thing, yeah, you are going to have small hands. Like, my hands are seven inches. <laughs> my fucking wrist is seven and a half. <laughs> my hand is seven. So my wrist is bigger than my fucking hand. What do you want me to do about it? When I grab onto thick bars, it's like I can almost, like, it's fucked up. There's all kinds of space. A tall guy is going to have an advantage. Yes, that's a fact. But guess what? You can still get a strong grip. My forearms are one of my best body parts. I've arm wrestled guys that were taller than me, and I beat them. I've outgripped guys who had big hands. So yes, they are going to have an advantage, but that doesn't mean that you can't make strength gains. Same thing for your deadlifts. I have the exact build that a lot of you short guys are complaining about. In fact, mine is probably worse than yours. I'm bent all the way fucking forward in a deadlift, and I have hypermobile elbows. But that didn't stop me from pulling 585 bellless at 180 pounds. I did it. So all your excuses, you got to throw that shit out the window, because... That's just a limiting belief on your point of view. It is. You're creating this excuse because of your leverages. It's the same thing that tall guys do with the bench. You're going to say, oh, I have long arms. I can't bench a lot of weight. Well, explain Eddie Hall then and his strong bench. Explain all the strongman competitors that bench heavy weights. Again, it goes both ways. But short guys, they're fucking... It makes no sense because... Let's break some real shit down, right? You have smaller range of motion and you excel at most lifts. You excel at the bench press. Most elite benchers are short. So you excel at that, right? Uh, all kinds of exercises you could benefit from having a short range of motion and uh, better leverages. But yet, when it comes down to grip movements and deadlifts, it's like you're going to complain. It's like, dude, why don't you look at the pros and throw those cons out the window? Because they're not controllable things anyway. So that's the first, that's the second step. Stop complaining and stop comparing yourself to taller men. Are you in this iron game for yourself? Because it sounds to me like a lot of you short dudes are not lifting for yourself. You keep comparing yourself to this guy, that guy. It's like, dude. All you have is you. This ain't soccer, this ain't hockey, this ain't football, this ain't rugby. It's not a team sport. This is a solo thing that you got to do in the gym. If a spotter pushes on the bar for you, you're not going to grow. It's you who's got to do the work, plain and simple. Another point is that short guys are going to complain that they will never look big because of their small height. And when I hear this, it's like, dude, are you even aware of bodybuilders? Are you like, fuck, some of these guys are just very ignorant. Most bodybuilders are not on the tall side because the taller you are, the, like the more lanky you're going to appear and the shittier proportions are. Yes, if you're tall, you're going to dwarf a guy who's standing next to you who's short. But the proportions is something that you most likely will never have. That's something that I didn't mention in that other video yesterday, but it's true. You're not going to have the proportions of a short guy, but you're still going to dwarf him. That said, 
most bodybuilders are short for good reason. It gives you the stocky appearance. It gives you the shorter limbs. It gives you the, the muscle belly fullness that you're looking for. It doesn't give you that lankiness, right? So you short guys have an advantage here. You have the advantage that you can actually look stupid fucking buff without having to have very large measurements. You see what I'm saying here? You can have a 16-inch arm, and it's going to look very big. It's going to look tremendously big because you have a short arm length, and you have stock your, like, you have to stock your build. So you don't have to get as buff. You don't have to put as much muscle on your frame to look good. Whereas a tall dude, he's got to really bulk the fuck up to get a similar frame to you. So you have the stocky advantage. You have the muscle belly fullness advantage. You have that bodybuilder statue advantage. So why are you complaining that you're not going to be the biggest guy of all time? Sure, you, you like lean body mass wise, you probably won't be. But proportionally, you're going to have those bodybuilder proportions. You have a higher chance anyway than a taller dude. Same thing for the legs. You have the capacity to build tree trunk fucking legs. Most guys I know, massive legs are short. Most guys with huge calves that I know are short. I mean, it, you, it's just one of those advantages that you got. So you got to listen. You, of course, you're not going to dwarf all these tall guys, but you still have to embrace what you have, which is amazing proportions. I'm sure a lot of tall guys would kill to have proportions like you. I'm sure a lot of tall guys would kill to have the stockiness that some of them can't acquire. So you have to leave again. It goes back to step number one. Accept yourself and leave the cons out the window. Accept what's actually good about yourself and you're going to be so much happier for it. And again, stop comparing yourself to tall lifters. Stop looking at the external factors. If you're truly lifting for yourself, you're going to be, get big for you. You're, look, you're going to look in the mirror. You're going to say, holy fuck, I got big traps. I got huge fucking arms, a wide back. You're going to be happy like that, okay? Stop comparing yourself to tall lifters. And you know what? Maybe I'll just say something to make you feel a little better. A lot of tall guys, uh, because their torso is so long, it makes their lats look less wide. So a little short guy like you, like me too, your back's going to look fucking meaty. It's going to look really, really wide because it's short, you know, so you get that broad look. So you, you get broadness too. <laughs> you don't get the measurement of broadness. A tall guy might have 60 inch shoulders. You might be around like 55, but you're going to look fucking good. You're going to look damn good. So stop complaining, all right? Another weird complaint is that short guys say, well, if I develop certain muscles, I'm going to look shorter. Therefore, I'm not going to train them. And it's like, what, what kind of bitch ass move is that? You're... <laughs> You're not going to train your traps, which can make you look so much better because it might make you look a little bit shorter. You're not going to train your legs because it can make you look shorter. Really, dude? Okay. Look, I, I can understand if your legs are getting too big and it's really starting to make your physique look fucking terrible. Like you're starting to look like a legit dwarf. But if you're going to like not train them whatsoever because you, you, you're scared of looking shorter, again, your insecurities are showing, bro. So what you have to do, again, it goes back to step number one of this very video love your height accept your height once you accept the fact that you're not getting any taller and this is what it is you'll be so much happier and you'll do what you want in terms of physique development like i know that if i keep training these squats and deadlifts and all this shit my legs are gonna get bigger yeah it's gonna happen um maybe it's not ideal for me maybe it's just gonna make me look stockier and fucking shorter but i don't care at this point i'm concerned with performance i want to get the best numbers possible and if that means getting a little bit more size so fucking be it same thing for the traps Big traps will revolutionize the way you look. A big neck will revolutionize the way you look. It might make you look a little bit shorter. That, that is possible. Sure, I'm sure maybe I do look shorter. It's possible. But you're going to look that much better. Same thing for higher body fat. If you're a higher body fat, again, the cushion is going to go all over your body. You're going to gain inches, right? Which makes you look more fucking meatball status, right? You might look a bit shorter. That happens. Okay, it happens. But what do you want to do about it? You're going to stop lifting weights? I mean, listen, if, if you're that fucking concerned, you, number one, you're insecure through the roof and you really like, you got to rewatch this video a couple times. And two, if you can't listen to what I'm saying, then just fucking move on to calisthenics because weight, lifting weights is not for you. If you can't accept the fact that you're going to get bulkier and it's going to make you look a little bit shorter, then this is not for you. And honestly, like the benefits that you can get in terms of that stocky appearance, tall guys would kill for it. They would fucking kill for it. A lot of them are insecure of that shit. And here you are complaining that you look like a fucking meatball. Really? That's sad if you ask me. That, that is very sad. You shouldn't think of it like that, dude. You should embrace the stockiness. Embrace the fact that you have something that a lot of guys can't get. And then finally, here's the, the final point of this video, which is the fact that a lot of short dudes are unable to get laid. They can't do it. They can't do it because, again, they're thinking about their height, which is madness if you ask me. Let me tell you something, guys. I grew up in the Italian neighborhood, right? I'm from Montreal, Canada. So I, although I am Canadian, I don't have that Canadianish accent. And uh, when I grew up in elementary school, high school, all the men were Italian, every single one of them. I want to say 98% of them, all right? That said, we were all short motherfuckers, every single one of us. If you look at my high school yearbook, we're all short. We're literally all fucking short. So back then, people didn't make fun of height. I mean, there were maybe legit, there were maybe like five guys in the entire school out of over a thousand 
that were tall. That is not even an over-exaggeration. There were very few people that were tall. The guys were short. The women were even shorter. That said, people don't get, people don't care about their height. Everybody got laid. Everybody had a great time. People did not fucking care. I shit you not. Sometimes I see these dudes at the gym. Some of them are even shorter than me. It's like, holy fuck. But I didn't even notice back then. I only started noticing when I started getting on the internet and you start seeing the worldwide uh, statistics, right? In terms of how tall people are. And when people start calling you a manlet. And that's another thing right there. The word manlet should not bother you. That's why you're not able to get laid. That's why you're so insecure of yourself. You have a lot of dudes who are calling you manlet. And actually, I got a great comment yesterday. Somebody told me that it's not tall people calling short guys manlet, but it's actually other short men and average men, average height. Because he said, why would a tall guy want to do that to a short man? You know what? That's a great point. If you're six foot five, why would you insult a guy who's five foot five unless you're insecure in yourself? So that said, you don't like the term manlet. You get offended by the term manlet. It breaks you down. And the, the fact that you have such a negative connotation with your height makes you unable to get relationships with men, with women, all kinds of people. So my advice is to legit just stop caring about the fucking word. It's just a word. It's not going to do anything to you. No one's going to kill you. No one's going to attack you. All right. You're perfectly fine. You're in your fucking house. You're looking at a goddamn computer screen. A, a fucking gun's not going to come out of the screen. You're fine. All right. So stop worrying so much about that fucking uh, that label. Right. And just go out and meet women. You'll be so surprised. I know guys that are five foot one. They're getting laid like fucking madman. I have a guy. He's five foot four. His girlfriend's like five nine and a half. But she's fucking solid. She's really really good looking, man. And this dude is like pretty much average. He's he's fucking average. He's he's buff. He's he's jacked. But he's he's height like he's low. He's low in height. So you can still get companionship from other people. You just gotta stop being so insecure in yourself. When you stop being so insecure, that superficial crap is no longer there, right? You obliterate society's expectations in a sense. So. Go back to what I experienced when I was a, a young man. Luckily for me, I grew up in an environment where everybody was the same height as me. So I didn't have issues with the height. I didn't have uh, bullying issues. I didn't have people saying, oh, you're so short. None of that stuff happened because we were all short ourselves. And uh, yeah, maybe that's why I think the way I do today. But, but yeah, I hope that uh, my experiences and my advice has helped you out in terms of overcoming your uh, manlet negative connotation. I really hope so, man. Uh, if there are other short lifters, please share your feedback down below. Let's help out our brothers in iron. Like I said, it's a positive community over here. I only want guys being real, being cool. I don't want any dudes like name calling back and forth. I don't want any bullying going on. Like, listen, we all have a passion for lifting weights. We have a passion for getting uh, stronger, building muscle, endurance, all that type of stuff. Therefore, we're all as one. We're all a brotherhood here. So fuck the hype. That doesn't mean shit to me. Let's empower one another. Tor uh, short, tall, man, woman, whatever. I don't care. So that's it for today's video. Give me your feedback down below. And I'll talk to you all next time.